We had a good link with um with Rockefeller at the time, mm. I mean, and we booked Dipset to come over. But my brother Barry Inch, he Big up he Barry. he he called me and said, "Yo, my brother Dan Ezekiah's cousins and that he wants to put into some music and that he wants to do events and that he's got some money he wants to do that." So we put up the bulk of the money. I made them go on the plane to Rockefeller Studios and that, and um, bring bring seventy k cash mm. and give to Cameron's manager Fat Joe so that we can solidify them. So when you're walking in a building, in an office, everything's Chris. So we're doing the promotion over here, man's spending money, I'm grabbing money from this brother, I'm saying, what you want to put in? You know what I mean? Putting in a certain amount of paper, but it's all off of my back and my reputation. Mm -hmm. Giving them the link, saying, yo, this is, these are certified people, we can book them to come over and they'll definitely turn up and do the tour. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this is, two, tw this is 2004. They were meant to come over and do it. Next minute, they didn't turn up. We met them in, in, in Napa that year, remember? Was it Napa that year that we met? No, that was Be Memphis Bleak. Bleak yeah, Memphis Bleak, Beehive came it over. Year, isn't it? Yeah, no, 2003. Oh, yeah, early, yeah, 04, 04 early 04. 04. Early 04. <coughs> so, when they came over, no, when we put on the concert, they never come over. Cameron come online and was bigging up North Star, but North Star had nothing to do with it. But. He's still big. I was rating that though. Yeah, I was rating that big still, man. Because I, I, I'm thinking, right? It wasn't Cam. It was Jim, was it was Jim Jones. No, but I don't know. But people was following. I didn't hear it. Yeah, Jim people Jones. Oh, you know, you know, you know, big dog, you know, star. Yeah. Oh, oh. So that was good, man. I, I rated that still. But then they didn't turn up. And I heard that happen with a lot of like promoters. So you know, American nothing, artists taking people. money, not turning up, not coming to events. But it's just the wrong youths that you took money from. Yeah. Basically. It's gonna piss me off. That's the wrong youths you took money from. Southwest London youths. We're not the promoters. We're not man that, that's getting invested that can just lose money and knock it on the head. You know what I mean? So. I'm gonna take that. You to took. The grave. <laughs> We're gonna take. Yeah, you took money from man. Don't come back here until you're willing to pay, and that's all it was. So when when some promoters thought it was cool to book, like a couple of them have been here while I was in jail on my doing my thing, in jail trying to get out. Yeah, we're gonna. Go but when I came out of that, I heard. Certain man was bringing Jules Santana over, playing that. And I was like, yo, they're coming over. Blood, lock that down, man. Yeah. Lock that down. My brother, Reaps, Inch, like, Peckham man turned up, Brixton man turned up, Tanner. Beer man turned up and said, nah, this not, it's not happening on an hour watch, you get me? It's not happening on an hour watch, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just... Mega's involvement, this is Brixton man's involvement, this is Stratton man's involvement, this is, this is more than just one man's involvement. And furthermore, you lot ain't dealt with it properly. You understand what I'm saying? So everyone turned up at their hotels and orchestrated it in a certain way, but we didn't want to make it seem like it was some kidnapping thing or disrespecting in the end because we're still fans of them, we still like them. Yeah. They was acting like, um, Jules Santana was acting like he didn't really know what it was all about, it was all cam situation. It was on mind games, isn't it? Yeah, it was on mind games again. So they signed something, some bug little contract, like made them sign a bug contract and say, yeah, I'm going to come over here when I do my mixtape. And when he went back to the States, one of his little youths from, from jail was dissing the thing again. Fuck you, London niggas, da 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 da, da. <laughs> Mind games. All of that shit was happening. And I was like, but I was on the phone. I was, I was going out with a girl called Yaz at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, and I was on the phone from Cyprus, kind of just orchestrating it, saying, yo, put him on the phone. Yeah, nah, man, one's on the coach now, nah, Mega. Don't watch nothing. I'm air. Shabs, yo, Megs, what go on? Nah, man, I'm air, man. I'm on the coach, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Shabs is calling cool America. Certain man from America saying, what? Jack them niggas up, man. Jack them niggas up, you know what I mean? But I was like, nah, we're not going to do it that way, Shabs. Boom, 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 boom. Just know that we've managed the situation, you know what I mean? Mm. So I think, I think the next day they just kind of calmed it down a little bit, done a little freestyle with them online and just calmed it down, just meant to come back. So he didn't come back and then, and then again, um, Cameron came over, but it's one of my brethren from my ends that was involved in booking it. But what was happening is that I wanted to make a phone call to say, yo, let's have a, let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation with, um, with Cam and that just to let them know about the scenario. But I don't think Cam wanted to have the conversation. And it's not my brethren's fault. It's not, it's not the girl's fault. It's not, it's not my man's fault. It's just that the, the artist didn't, wasn't honest with them of the situation 
and wasn't honest with us about the situation. You know what I mean? So they was trying to play, they was trying to safeguard their interests at the same way, just safeguarding the artist's interests. But I was most probably seen as, as a disrespect on Cameron's side more than it was my brethren's. Yeah. You get me? I didn't think that my brethren's were disrespecting. They were just like, well, we just want to put on an event and boom, 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 boom. Mm. So it wasn't really nothing to do with them. They were just safeguarding their thing. But Cameron was taking a piss mm. because Cameron, yes, yes bless, man. bless. Cameron was the main man. Next to, next to Big Joe, he was the main man. You get me? And I just said, look, if my man doesn't make the phone call, I apologize, but I have to, I have to um, pull him up on it. You get me? I can't, I can't allow these Brixton youths and these Streatham youths and a couple of my brethren who are involved to look at that and make it seem like I didn't have their interests at heart because this is my link. I made roadman put their money into something, mm. which, you know what I mean? Which yeah. they lost all their money. money. Losing a hundred grand of street money is not uh, some something that you should take mm -hmm. lightly. To anybody, it's not a joke thing. Gunshot, man. <laughs> so, for the whole time, it's been my interest to make sure that, that justice is served on all areas. So I had to get dirty. I had to get my hands dirty a little bit again. You know what I mean? I turned up at the event on a, on a thing where, where I wanted to have a conversation with him again and he just didn't want to turn up. So the young ones, they just move reckless. And I said, look, if it gets to a point, if it gets to a point where they don't move accordingly, you lot do what you want to do. You know what I mean? And that's, that's basically how it was, man. But I'm, I'm always diplomatic right down to the last point and I've always been like that. How do you feel about it now, the situation? Because obviously he still ain't run the paper, innit? I feel the same because the other day I got a phone call that um, Cameron and Jay the Kiss wanted to come over because they they done a little tour in America. Okay. So I got a phone call respect to, respectfully from certain promoters, promoters and that yeah. and said, yo, what's the situation? Then I got on the phone with Cameron's manager and he, he let me know what the situation was and he was away at the time on, on an M charge and mm. they said throw out a number and I couldn't throw out a number because it was other man involved. So I made a phone call to other man. They gave me a number and when I went back and gave them the number, they said, boy, but like, can we deal with Cameron's side? I said, this isn't nothing to do with Cameron. We booked the whole of Dipset. So if you're the leader of your thing, just like our mega is the forefront of, uh. the whole thing sits on me. Uh. So the whole thing sits on you, Cameron. You get me? You can't come here unless you want to agree, first of all, acknowledge that you owe that money and agree how that money's going to get paid. And I didn't hear back from them. So what, so what was meant to be Cameron and Jada Kiss? turned into the locks. And that's when you saw Jay the Kiss and Sheik come over and then Star, but oh, Styles yeah, P didn't, yeah. yeah. So there's little things happening behind the sidelines which I'm not being, I'm not, I'm not a bad boy, man. I fuck this bad boy thing. I'm just a person that stands on real morals. You get me? And if you tell me that we're gonna do something and if I say I'm gonna be somebody by you, I'm gonna be somebody by you. If I say I'm gonna do this thing to the end, I'm going to do this thing to the end. Whether you disrespect me, whether you see me as an idiot, whether you want to try and chirp my gal or whether you want to be disrespectful with money, if I say I'm going to be with you to the end, I'm going to be with you to the end. And that's just my principles. I don't care. So whatever, whatever fortune that I have in my life, that's mostly why I, I get through and still happen to create levels of bags and levels of opportunities because I'm more loyal than majority of the people I've come across. Huh. Ditto. Mm.